Michael here, and I'm back for another awesome week in LEGO news. With the return of Lord of the Rings and a $500 Rivendale, 2023 Spider-Man, the next LEGO idea set, Brickling Designer Program returns, LEGO BTS News and Wallace and Gromit, LEGO Pogo Stick, and did LEGO accidentally reveal a brand new theme? And don't forget to listen to the latest episode of my LEGO Masters podcast, Talk Bricks Masters. This week I sat down with former contestants Dave and Brian to break down the NASCAR-themed episode 11. And you can listen to it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and so much more using links in the description below. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO Deal from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over Costco, they've got the Baby Groot and Iron Man Armory sets for 53% off. Next to Target, you can get a $10 gift card when you spend $50 on select sets. And many of these sets are already discounted 20% or more. And over at Amazon, you can save $10 when you spend 50 on select items. Next, they've got the Lego Icons Back to the Future Time Machine for 15% off and the Harry Potter Advent Calendar for 36% off. And for stocking stuffers, they've got the Black Panther Mech Armor for 44% off, the Wolverine Mech Armor for 36% off, the Lego Critter 3 one Dolphin and Turtle for 30% off and the classic gray base plate for 52% off. And from shang chi they've got the battle at the ancient village for 38% off and escape from the 10 rings for 27% off. And over at Lego, they've got the new Lego Ideas table football for 30% off. Plus it's double VIP points this weekend and you can get the free Santa's workshop set with purchases over 150, the Lego fleece blanket with your purchase over $200 and the fun and funky VIP add-on with your purchase over $50. And if you want to pick up any of these deals and more and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next up in previous videos, we've talked about the return of the Lord of the Rings theme. And this week we got the reveal of three new brickheads coming January 1st. But the bigger news coming from 1414 Falcon fan and leaky minifigure is that we're going to be getting a $500 direct-to-consumer set of Rivendell. Welcome to Rivendell. The only previous Lord of the Rings set that featured Rivendell was the $30 Council of Elrond set, so we're expecting a lot more out of this version. For example, the LEGO Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle now retails for $470, which is quite similar to the rumored $500 price point. And it'd be easy to see a similar micro-scale version of Rivendell with all of those nano figures of the notable characters and perhaps some special minifigures as well. But according to the rumor, this set is said to feature minifigures, which could give us a similar design to the Lion Knight's Castle that came out this year. And this set retailed for $400. And I think it'd be awesome to get even just a section of Rivendell with full minifigure scale detail and lots of great figures. I'm so excited for a Rivendell set, but I still have tons of questions. Questions that need answering. As for Brickheads, first up we've got Frodo and Gollum with 184 pieces retailing for $15. The design for Frodo looks nice with the cape and that printed detail at the center. And Gollum sits a bit smaller with the printed hair detail on the sides. The other two two-packs feature Gandalf the Grey and Balrog and Aragorn and Arwen and each retail for $20. The build for the Balrog is maybe one of the most unique we've gotten and I love the yellow eyes and all the flame detail and Gandalf looks really nice with his cape and hat. The build for Aragorn looks nice with the beard and the printed detail and both characters feature crowns with drum lacquered silver details and I can't wait for more Lord of the Rings. Next up thanks to Lego's certification page we got the reveal of the Phineas Dash poly bag and perhaps an entirely new theme. The Phineas Dash minifigure seems to be a football or soccer player but features a wacky design with that purple shark costume which seems to be a combination of the original shark minifigure and these ones from the FC Barcelona promo. But hidden in the corner of the bag, we see a logo for game developer 2K Games. And it was actually previously reported from the Video Game Chronicle that LEGO would be partnering with 2K Games on a new line of sports games, including a football soccer game, as well as a racing game featuring LEGO characters. And it's even likely that this poly bag is a pack-in with the game, just like the Blue Milk Luke Skywalker poly bag was a pack-in with the deluxe edition of the Skywalker Saga game. But perhaps the more interesting detail is the branding under LEGO Games, which is a newer logo that we saw revealed this past year. And many believe that this could even signal a brand new theme for LEGO. Just like the tall neck from Horizon Zero Dawn and the sets from Overwatch, LEGO has been collaborating more and more with video game developers. And having the branding like LEGO games allows them to release these one-off sets or perhaps even combine some of their themes like LEGO Super Mario, Minecraft, and more. And personally, I'm hopeful that this opens up the door for them to do more game collaborations. So this little purple shark polybag may just be the beginning. I'm so pumped up! Next for Marvel, they also announced three new sets coming for Spidey and his amazing friends in March. First, we've got the mobile headquarters with 187 pieces recently for $50. And they packed a lot into this one. The mobile headquarters is huge and features nice prints. You can open the front to place a minifigure inside and you can open up the back to load in the car ATV. There's a small grocery store with some nice prints and an egg launcher for Rhino. And this set comes with Spider-Man, Ghost Spider, and Miles Morales in new outfits, plus our first Black Panther from this line and that great Rhino figure. Next, we've got Green Goblin's Lighthouse with 149 pieces retailing for $35. The build features Green Goblin's headquarters and the lighthouse looks really nice with the big pumpkin and all the prints. There's more great prints inside and beneath it, there's a jail cell where you can lock a minifigure up. At the base, there's a roller coaster section and on the left there's a shipwreck build and on the right a little island with some treasure. It also includes exclusive scuba versions of Miles Morales and Ghost Spider plus our first Sandman and another Green Goblin. And finally we've got Spider-Man's car in Doc Ock with 48 pieces retailing for $10. And for the price we've got a nice version of Spider-Man's car and the same Doc Ock figure with that lamppost. Next in LEGO Ideas news we got the reveal of the latest set coming with LEGO and Target.
it. The last LEGO Ideas and Target set that was announced was the Viking Village. And out of the four submissions for the What Does Family Mean to You contest, we now have our winner. The Your Family Tree Project will be the next one coming as an official set, and it's this lovely vignette of a tree with red leaves where you can put your own family photos to decorate it. There's also some minifigures to create a family, as well as some animals, so I think this will make a really nice set. Next, we finally got a little update on the BTS Dynamite LEGO Ideas set. As some fans have seen this ad teasing the set on Facebook or Instagram. The teaser image is simple, but features a purple heart, which represents the BTS fandom. And it seems as part of the ad, you can submit your information, and there may be even some sort of launch event. Whether you're a fan or not, BTS is certainly a global phenomenon, so I'm very curious to see how this set turns out with all of its minifigures and how it sells. And thankfully for fans, it doesn't look like we're gonna have to wait too long. In Brickling news, they're back with series one of the Bricklink Designer Program. Their 2021 Invitational brought to life 15 projects through crowd support, and they're looking to do that the same in an ongoing basis, which means we get more great Lego sets like the successful projects you see here. If you want to submit a project, you'll be able to submit your design in February of next year. And if you want to learn more about the program or submitting your design, there's a link in the description below. And in more Lego Ideas news, the Wallace and Gromit project was the latest at 10,000 supporters on the platform. Straight out of their films, the build is of course of Wallace and Gromit's house and features many different characters and scenes from their adventures. As someone who grew up on these movies, you can definitely see all the attention to detail they put in with lots of fun references. On the whole, I think this would make a really fun set. And while we've seen some similar projects like Home Alone get approved, many others like the Gremlins or Gilmore Girls houses haven't. So as always, we're gonna have to wait and see. Next, in a previous video, we talked about the ultra rare Lego house exclusive 3D printed duck element. And we're now getting a look at another similar element thanks to those who pre-ordered the secret life of Lego bricks. The website Bricks fans has posted photos of a prototype element of a minifigure pogo stick. The design for the pogo stick is super unique with a spot for a figure. And we can see on the footrest, a copyright for 2019. And just as the 3D printed duck had a unique feature as you roll it along, the pogo stick can also spring up and down with that coiled section. And I'm curious if these 3D printed prototype parts will make it into set soon. So there you have it, another fun week in LEGO news with a lot of interesting twists and turns. I'm super excited that Lord of the Rings is back and I can't wait to see how that Rivendell turns out. Plus themes like LEGO games and the Bricklink designer program really open us up to a lot of really interesting sets up on the horizon. Not to mention that for January alone, there are already over 125 sets revealed. So we've got so much great stuff coming. And it seems like 2023 is shaping up to be another year of awesome sets from Lego. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more Lego news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations and be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Michael here, click to watch live streams featuring 2023 reveals from Marvel, Fast and the Furious, Star Wars, Ninjago, Monkey Kid, and more. And don't forget to subscribe.